things where you just had to hang in and try to steal it at the end? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, all throughout the game we were saying just, just keep fighting. Obviously, you know, early on, you know, there's a couple, a lot of times there where we caught ourselves down 10 points, 13 points and whatnot, but we kept fighting all throughout the whole night. Um, I was just able to create something towards the end of the game, uh, get, get some energy in that um, towards the end of the third quarter to give us some life there. And once we were able to do that, we was really able to just flow and, and um, you know, do what we do to close out close out a good home victory. You guys had to be able to have Joel back in the lineup, and what did you make of his performance? Tonight? He was great. I mean, um, you know, obviously, just his presence and his dominance is is huge for our whole group. Um, and I, I thought, you know, really, he he did a great job of just involving everybody in the game. You know, seven assists is, is huge, and. Um, you know, his, his ability to, to take over a game, especially in the fourth quarter, he's a big fuss, and he, he just, you know, did, did awesome. And, um, you know, we were excited to have him back. Uh, you know, we would love to have him back earlier, but it was good to just get him back for tonight. Performance very steady tonight. Just what are you continuing to find um, just kind of in this version of the team and sort of wait for some, some more guys to come back up? Just, just getting in the flow and the rhythm. Um, you know, obviously that that's presented with the basketball being in my hands more and more opportunities. Um, so just finding my spots and being able to to make plays um, whenever I have the opportunity to. Um, you know, with, with guys out, the, the basketball uh, reaches my hands uh, a lot more throughout throughout the offense. And uh, for me, it's just to be efficient, make the right plays, and continue to find a groove. So, you know, those are, those are all things that um, I've always had in my game. And just, you know, now with this type of opportunity, you know, I just look to continue to be steady with it and do what I can to, to help our team win. Tobias, you guys didn't seem particularly uh, agreeable with what the officials were calling in the first half. Uh, how do you juggle like being aggressive and defending, but also not trying yeah. to make contact? Con it, it, it's tough. Um, because, you know, that's kind of like the way the game is now. Sometimes sometimes uh, it's about how you can make the referees feel like they have to put them in a bind to make those calls. Um, you know, it's kind of the art of the art of the game now. Um, but for us, you know, obviously some of those plays, they stink just because you know, we're sending guys to the free throw line and we want to be aggressive. Uh, but overall, I thought for us, we just showed different different schemes out there going to the zone, going back to man-to-man -to -man, uh, from time to time to, to to change up how they were able to read some of our defenses. But, you know, it's, it's part of it. Look like you guys uh, went zone a lot on defense. What about that was working for you? Uh, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we, we, we honestly, we haven't practiced zone that much. I mean, and um, you know, they, were, they were able to make a lot of shots. Like zone is cool, you know, if uh, you're in it and they miss like the first two, now they're thinking about the next one. You know, when we got in it a couple of times, they made two in a row and then we're able to find some open open spots out there. And when you start making them, we got to ex extend the zone out a little bit more so it's easier for them to get downhill. So it, it was tough, but for us it was kind of just showing showing a different scheme and, and, and showing a different defensive game plan. But, um, you know, they were able to make shots through the zone, so it, it was kind of tough for us. But, you know, on a back-to-back -back and having a lot of guys play a lot of minutes that, um, you know, haven't been used to those minutes, we, we did need something to get into to kind of uh, preserve our legs and, and be able to withstand the whole game and get a victory. You know, 16 early on a back-to-back, mm -hmm. long road trip especially. Uh, just said it's not one of those like you guys just kept battling back. But I was going to say about this team, especially being short-handed as you've been the last few weeks, few, few days here, few games here. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's focus level because um, we kept we kept coming to the huddles, and you know we we kept our energy positive throughout those times. Like we knew, you know, we we, we don't have it right now. Like we, we kind of like realized that we're like we don't have it right now, but. We just keep fighting. We keep going. We're going to find it. We're going to get it. We're going to get in a little flow. We're going to have some energy plays that, you know, um, pick our crowd up and that picks our energy up, our spirit up, so things like that. And, um, 
in this game, it's a game of runs, and um, there, there, there's ups and downs through the course of a game. But for us, I thought we did a good job of when we were able to find our momentum, we, we kept going with that, and we were running with that um, the whole way through. And I thought uh, towards the end of the third quarter, we were able to get that going. There were a lot of big shots through the course of a game that gave us that type of energy boost that the team needed. Um, and, you know, for, for our whole group, that was, that was a great victory for us. Like, you know, any, we'll take any win, but wins like that are important, um, in, in my opinion, because it's a game that we could easily just say, like, hey, it's a back-to-back. -back. Like, we don't have it, whatever. But, no, we, we were still in it. We were still fighting, and we had a lot of great efforts from a lot of guys that was able to push us to get this victory. To that point, Tobias, you guys have had all these guys out and you're not a lot of the players. When seven and nine, like you guys have, in terms of just grinding out wins, how good do you feel about the way you guys have been sort of stabilizing it? All of a sudden, you know, like the last couple of weeks. Honestly, we feel great. Like, the, uh, the whole group, like, the energy, the vibe is, you know, extremely positive. Um, and if, if I, I'm really being honest, I think it's, it, you know, all that all that is a tribute to, honestly, like the way that we've been winning and, um, you know, everybody feeling themselves out there, everybody getting to a groove and a good rhythm. So those things make the whole group feel um, good about themselves. And to be able to, you know, win seven out of nine with all the injuries that we had, you know, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling, but we got to keep it up. Point, What's is, there, is there, like, big picture-wise, are there things that you feel like you guys have kind of discovered or realized during the last couple of weeks that even as Joe comes back and James comes back and Tyrese comes back, like, that you were able, you were able to still apply um, in, that, in that sense? Uh, defense and, and ball movement. I mean, like, I think we saw some stat that we were, I guess, in the last, like, 10 games. Um, you know, very high up the charts in our defensive rating and whatnot. Um, so so that, that's helping us. And then, you know, I, I think that we've done a really good job of moving the basketball around and, and um, you know, just being hard for other teams to guard us from time to time, not knowing what we're getting to, what we're running, and, and playing free and moving and having body movement, ball movement. Those are, you know, two main things that we really uh, have emphasized, and they've been uh, – I extremely important for us. What's impressed you with the way Shakes played during this stretch? <laughs> Everything. Uh, his pace, you know, him getting to his spots. I thought tonight, like early on, you know, he, he was struggling a little bit, but he was able to just find himself out there and have a great game for us. Got going in the third quarter and then, um, you know, in the fourth. So, uh, you know, he, he's showing how great of a player he is. Uh, when given the opportunity and when, you know, given the confidence that, that he's having right now. So, you know, he's just got to keep it up as well. And he's he's showing, honestly, how great of a player he is and, and how much of a professional he is because he, he works his tail off. And now this moment is here for him, and he's able to really go out there and do what he has to do. I mentioned the other day that his playmaking is one of the big things that he's seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like a new development for him. How impressed are you with the way that he's been able to get everybody mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it's huge because, um, you know, he, he's a scorer at, at heart. And for him to come out in games, you know, I think that's why he's been extremely successful because, you know, teams don't really know if he's going to, you know, kick it to the corner or if he's going to come off and, and hit the roll guy. And that's opening up the game for himself and everybody else on the floor. So uh, I think that's like a new development in his game that he, he's um, – blossoming into right now and that's that's huge for our whole group and for him overall. Thanks bye. All right guys. All right, bye.